Ladies, do you have hair growing on your legs, <laughs> under your arms, or even on your face? I'm not just talking about eyebrows here. Are you tired of shaving cuts or painful treatments like waxing and electrolysis? That shit can hurt! Well, I'm here to tell you there's a better way. No, really! Our all-natural, hassle-free system is proven to end your body hair woes once and for all. And best of all, it's absolutely free. That's right, free. To take advantage of our fabulous offer and throw away your razor forever, all you have to do is be hairy. <laughs> Here's how it works. One day, you'll pick up your old razor and say, Fuck this shit. My pit hairs aren't hurting anyone. And go out in your favorite tank top with dark curly sticking out. And you're right. They aren't hurting anyone. And neither are your fuzzy thighs, or your chin tufts, or that long one that grows inexplicably from your elbow. Once you decide to be hairy, you'll wonder what took you so long to try. And if anyone tries to tell you you're ugly, or unfuckable, or... Guys don't like that. Well, maybe there's a use for that razor after all. When I wrote that in a fit of hipster smugness, I didn't expect my revolutionary new hair management technique to later be making literal clickbait headlines after taking America by 23% storm. The unthinkable women with hair and not Pantene ad hair, silkily flowing out from a restricted area of their heads, but dark curly secrets trailing down their inner thighs and bunching up under their socks. 23%, I couldn't believe it, because that meant 77% of women regularly shaving, shaving huge swaths of their skin for no reason I could think of, and yet there they were, millions of shorn women defying my queer feminist values. Maybe I should not have been so quick to think that the depilatory crusade is all the work of a well-crafted ad campaign designed to market razors to a new demographic by piggybacking on the rise of the hemline to above the knee in the flight, fight for women's rights to bear underarms. Maybe this is larger than commercialism, larger than feminism versus patriarchy, larger than the sum of its stubbly parts. I always knew why I don't shave, so why do you? Because I'm expected to? Because smooth legs are beautiful. Because it's expected. Because I was told to. Because my partner expects me to. Because I was told this is normal. Because I don't know why the fuck I do. Because it's something I've always done. Because I'm expected to. <coughs> so how about you? Nice.